Service Teardown, HP Chromebook 14 G6. How to replace the top cover. Removal. On the bottom of the notebook, remove the 8 7mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Turn the notebook over and open the display. Using a non-metallic, flat-bladed tool, carefully separate the edges of the top cover from the base enclosure and lift the top cover until you have access to the battery connector on the motherboard. Peel back the tape that covers the battery connector and disconnect the battery cable from its connector on the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the motherboard. Remove the top cover. Note, before installing a top cover, remove the following from the old top cover and install on the new top cover touchpad board and bracket. Reverse this procedure to install the top cover. How to replace the touchpad board. Before you begin, remove the top cover. Removal. Remove the four 2.5 mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad board bracket to the top cover. Lift the touchpad board bracket off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Peel back the mylar shielding that covers the touchpad board screws. Remove the three 1.6 mm P0 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the touchpad board to the top cover. Lift the touchpad board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the touchpad board. How to replace the battery. Warning. To avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Before you begin, remove the top cover. Removal. Remove the four 3.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the base enclosure. Lift the battery off of the alignment pins on the base enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the battery. How to replace the speakers. Before you begin, remove the top cover. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the speaker cable for later replacement. Disconnect the speaker cable from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the speaker cable from the tape and mylar that secure it to the motherboard. Remove the three 3.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the speakers to the base enclosure. Lift the speakers off of the alignment pins on the base enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the speakers. How to replace the sensor board. Before you begin, remove the top cover and speakers. Removal. Peel back the mylar and use minimal force to lift the locking bar up on the sensor board ZIF connector and disconnect the sensor board ribbon cable from the USB board. Lift the sensor board off of the alignment pins on the base enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the sensor board. How to replace the wireless module. Before you begin, remove the top cover. Removal. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Peel back the mylar that secures the wireless module to the motherboard. Remove the 2.5 mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless module to the base enclosure. Grasp the wireless module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the wireless module. Important! 
When installing the wireless module, be sure to align the notch in the wireless module with the key in the wireless module slot in the motherboard. How to replace the USB power button board. Before you begin, remove the top cover. Removal. Peel back the mylar and use minimal force to lift the locking bar up on the sensor board ZIF connector and disconnect the sensor board ribbon cable from the USB board. Peel back the mylar and use minimal force to lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connectors and disconnect the USB board ribbon cables from the motherboard. Remove the two 3.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the base enclosure. Lift the USB board off of the alignment pins, guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the base enclosure, and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the USB board. How to replace the motherboard. Before you begin, remove the top cover, speakers, and wireless module. Removal. Disconnect the webcam cable from the connector on the motherboard. Peel back the mylar and use minimal force to lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connectors and disconnect the USB board ribbon cables from the motherboard. Disconnect the display panel cable from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the six 3.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard to the base enclosure. Lift the USB-C bracket off of the motherboard and remove. Carefully lift the edge of the motherboard off of the alignment pins and guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the base enclosure. Remove the motherboard. Reverse this procedure to install the motherboard. Important! After motherboard replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating DMI and other settings. How to replace the hinge cap. Before you begin, remove the top cover and speakers. Removal. Fully open the display panel. Carefully squeeze the hinge cap to disengage the retention clips from the display bezel and display panel. Slide the hinge cap off of the display panel hinges and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the hinge cap. How to replace the display enclosure. Before you begin, remove the top cover, wireless module, speakers, sensor board, hinge cap, display bezel, and display panel. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the webcam and wireless antenna cables for later replacement. Peel back the retention tape and disconnect the display panel cable from the motherboard. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel and tape on the base enclosure and display panel hinge. Disconnect the webcam cable from its connector on the motherboard. Remove the webcam and wireless antenna cables from the routing channel on the base enclosure and display panel hinge. Remove the six 2.5 mm P0 Phillips broadhead and two 3.5 P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel hinges to the display enclosure. Remove the two 2.5mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel hinges to the display enclosure. Release the display panel hinges from the retention clips on the display enclosure and remove the display enclosure. Reverse this procedure to install the display enclosure. How to replace the display bezel. Before you begin, remove the top cover, speakers, and hinge cap. Removal. Carefully separate the inside edges of the display bezel from the top, sides, and bottom to disengage it from the display enclosure. Important. The edges of the display bezel are held in place with adhesive. Take care when removing them from the display enclosure. 
it may be necessary to use a non-metallic flat-bladed tool to aid in the removal. Slide the display bezel out from under the base enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the display bezel. How to replace the display panel. Before you begin, remove the top cover, hinge cap, and display bezel. Removal. Important. The display panel is held in place by two strips of stretch release tape. Each tape strip has a plastic pull tab attached to one end. One at a time, grasp the pull tab of each strip of tape and carefully wrap it around the end of a cylindrical tool, such as a screwdriver. Slowly twist the tool to release the tape. Continue twisting until the entire strip has been removed. Important! If the stretch release tape strips are pulled too quickly, they will break before releasing the display panel. Note, the removed stretch release tape is not reusable. Partially remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the display enclosure. Lift the display panel off of the display enclosure and turn it over to gain access to the display panel cable connector. Peel back the retention tape and disconnect the display panel cable from the connector on the display panel. Remove the display panel. Important! Please refer to the Maintenance and Service Guide for instructions on replacing the display panel. The stretch release tape strips that secure the display panel to the display enclosure must be placed in a specific orientation. How to replace the display panel hinges. Before you begin, remove the top cover, wireless module, speakers, sensor board, hinge cap, display bezel, display panel, and display enclosure. Removal. Remove the two 4.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the display enclosure. Lift the left display panel hinge off of the alignment pins and slide it out from under the lip on the base enclosure. Remove the left display panel hinge. The right display panel hinge is removed in the same manner. Reverse this procedure to install the display panel hinges. How to replace the LCD bracket. Before you begin, remove the top cover, wireless module, speakers, sensor board, hinge cap, display bezel, display panel, and display enclosure. Removal. Release the LCD bracket from the retention clips on the display enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the LCD bracket. How to replace the webcam board. Before you begin, remove the top cover, wireless module, speakers, sensor board, hinge cap, display bezel, display panel, display enclosure, and LCD bracket. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the webcam board ZIF connector and disconnect the webcam board ribbon cable from the webcam board. Using a flat, non-conductive tool, carefully remove the webcam board from the adhesive that secures it to the display enclosure and lift the webcam board off of its alignment pins. Reverse this procedure to install the webcam.